What is going on guys, McRaptor here, back in Demon's Souls Remake on the PS5. This time we are fighting the Dragon God boss and giving you an easy guide on how to beat this guy. He's more of a puzzle than an actual boss. Uh, when you come on in, you want to uh, put one attack in or so on the first pillar on the right hand side. And uh, it's up to you how you want to do this. You can have him kind of bait it into and punch it again for you or you can run on back. Um, the weapon that you use to break through the pillars does matter, so if you're using like a super uh, kind of uh, quick attacking weapon, it could take you several times to actually get through the pillars, so you want to make sure that you have something at least kind of like a medium sword type that, that can get through the pillar in um, at least two attacks, if not less. A very heavy weapon can actually punch through in a single attack. Um, and then once you're through the first pillar, you're going to want to head on over to that safe spot there. Wait till he's on aggroed. And you can tell that he is on aggroed when his eyes are yellow. So he's about to attack when his eyes are red. You can kind of see it there. Um, red eyes means he's about to punch you. And it's very, very scary. He does a lot of damage. So you don't want to get punched. Um, when he is at idle, his eyes are yellow. And he's just kind of looking around. Um, you basically want to wait until he's... Uh, chilled for a bit and looking the other way um, Also very very important put on the thief's ring You have to have the thief's ring to make this fight super super easy. So make sure you have that on um, And then you're gonna make your way on the right hand side through a series of three different pillars And so it's just kind of like a wait and uh, it, It's a cat and mouse game. And so you really want to just be patient wait till he on aggros wait till he's looking the other way and then get the attack in before you move forward. If you get too greedy, he will just um, punch you in the face and deal a ton of damage. While it is very possible to survive an attack or two from him, if you're at this guide, you've probably been getting stomped by the 2-3 boss here, Dragon God, several, several times. So um, I recommend just putting on the thief ring and being patient, letting him de-aggro before you push forward to the next pillar. Um, once you've got through the first three walls or pillars then you are on to essentially phase two uh once you hit him with that ballista there uh, he opens up a new area and you can drop down here and now you're on to the next section uh, by comparison phase two is quite a bit easier um, it's a straight line there's a lot less that could go wrong here again with the thief ring on you're going to be in really good shape i did just cast the water veil spell in case we do get hit by a fire attack we have a better chance to survive with the first pillar here, you just want to run up to it, attack it once or twice, depending on what weapon you have equipped, and then lose aggro on him again. Also, just make sure you look and see what color his eyes are. If they're red or if he starts to growl at you, you know things are getting bad, and you want to dip on out and get to a safe point. Uh, so as long as you're patient in this particular point here, you, sh you should be good to go, um, as long as you also have the thief ring on. Very, very important. Thief Ring you can pick up in 1-1, one, one, so it's a very early game item. You might have skipped it. It's right next to Atsrava, so make sure you pick that up before you come on in here. Uh, this is the second pillar now. Um, same as the first one. It, it, there's just not much to say. Like you, you just have to be very, very patient and don't get overly greedy. If you try to just power through this whole area, um, you might survive uh, with a Dragon Punch or two, but... Uh, just being patient is the easiest and safest way. Uh, once you get through this third pillar here, then you need to book it fast because he's he is going to breathe fire. Uh, this, this this is when I actually prefer to get pretty greedy. Um, your RNG may not be as good as ours was there, so you might get hit with a fire attack here depending on how fast you are. Um, but you know, second phase is really not the tough part. If you can get consistency on phase one for Dragon God, you'll be good to go. And then, essentially, once you're uh, past phase two here, he is almost, almost harmless. And I say almost because you can actually still die on phase three. Uh, so you do want to be careful there. There is also a crystal lizard that you can take out if you want to. That's completely optional. Um, so you can head on down here. And you, you just want to be patient again. Like, this is like a... Uh, uh, it's a total gimmick fight. It sucks, right? Because... The Dragon God himself looks amazing. It'd be really cool if it was like an actual boss fight, but um, it's okay. Uh, he looks awesome. This whole area is awesome. You just fought through Flame Lurker, who's super tough, so I think this is okay to have a little bit of a puzzle. 
Um, when you can see the fire kind of coming out of his mouth there, that actually does damage to you. Um, and if you don't have a lot of health or you stick in that fire breath for too long, you will die. So, again, you want to be patient before you go in there. Make sure he's not breathing fire on you. And then just kind of smack him in the face. And then he is done. Done, done, done. So, hopefully that guy was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we have tons, tons, tons of Demon Souls remake and other Soulsborn guides, tips, and tutorials and news over at ggsouls.com. Make sure you guys check those out. We will see you on the next one.